I lose, I quit. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So today we have yet another I lose, I quit live arena video. So if you don't know how this works, the first match is a warm up, and then after that, they are good to go. So if we lose, then well, we quit. And in these, it's not just playing around doing live arena. We're actually using either exclusions, so you can't use a specific champion, or specific champions have to be included in every single draft pick. So today, instead of doing an inclusion, we're actually doing an exclusion. So today we have no Rotos being used. Matter of fact, a few days ago on stream, I actually had somebody tell me that it feels as if most of my videos end up becoming a Rotos showcase. They don't have Rotos, so more or less, hey, I don't like seeing Rotos being used. Mix it up a little bit, so that's what we're doing today. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. We're gonna try some other champions. Matter of fact, if you're somebody who gets triggered, upset, a little bit bothered by your favorite content creator, maybe playing Rotos too much, Today is going to be a safe place for you, okay? Today is going to be a video that you can watch and have no fear. That little blue devil, he's going to be in the vault. You're never going to see him, unless, of course, the enemy picks him. But for now, that little blue champion, he's going to be way far away, okay? So not too much we have to worry about there. Uh, matter of fact, I won't even show him here. Now, also, with that said, I probably will use his wife. Sifi, Duchess, you know, um, Leoris, he's actually the champion I took Rotos' gear from and put it onto Leor's. So we're going to see how that actually plays out. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and go Duchess and Leo because that's probably the best option for me, right? Now, with that said, Leo may not be the best champion to show this early because I think it might discourage some AoE attacks. Now, I'm going to go ahead and be 100% honest. I don't use Leor's very much at all. So my knowledge level with Leor's and like who to pick and who to ban on their enemy team may not be 100% perfect. It's probably not going to be 100% perfect, actually. It definitely won't be. Um, so far, I got some ideas, though, what I'm going to do here, actually. Might try something pretty interesting. I might try some... Uh, as long as they don't pick Rodos, I'm going to try something kind of cool. I think it's going to be cool. It may not actually be cool, but it's going to... Okay, gosh dang it. Why do people have to pick this champion? Do they not know that I'm not doing Rodos today? I guess they don't. I guess they don't know that stuff. So, we're going to UDK, and then we're going to ban the Warlord. I mean, that's that's the only option that I have. If they ban UDK, that's going to be the really thing I was hoping for. I mean, I don't want them to ban anybody else. You have to ban the UDK, right? And Nithui. Am I really worried about a Nithui? I am worried about Rotos for sure. As long as my Duchess is faster, though, I'm not really. Um, which I got a feeling my Duchess or my Sifi should be able to be faster, should be able to cut in or something. Matter of fact, my Duchess, my, my Sifi... Is faster than their Arbiter, which is uh, friggin' sweet, if you ask me. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So everybody's Veiled now. That Anithui would have probably cut in had the Arbiter done his term meter, her Terminator boost. But since she didn't, no cutting in happening. So can we go ahead and whack this Rodos? We got him. Sweet. This may be a pretty quick match. She's going to want to res. She's definitely going to want to res. But the Arbiter also wants to res. But the Arbiter is also going to possibly be locked down by my Sifi. So it's kind of like, oh, what do, we, what do we do here? What do we do here? My, my Sifi's not even that fast. Okay, so she actually maybe got a turn meter boost or something. So we'll just sleep the the Rotos, why not? And then we can just A3, right? A3 with the Leo, kill everybody, except for the Duchess, of course. Then Duchess gets the res, and then we go next time try to kill her, possibly. And Nithui's a decent champion, but I feel as if he's not great in a speed team like this, though. So we just get with this hard A3, hopefully fairly hard. Okay, we got, got the kill there. Sweet. And then here, some decreased turn meter action maybe. Nope, both resisted. It's all right. We're going to go ahead and buff up. If we get a turn before she does with Leo, it's GG, right? There we go. Perfect. All right, so Leo, he did some work there. He definitely did some work there. A Duchess, obviously a big help. Um, Duchess allows him to be veiled. So then the uh, Nithui, don't really care about him attacking, but the Rotos can attack him, which is huge. So now we got this player. Let's see how this match goes. 
First pick? What do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer first pick or second pick? I think I usually prefer... I don't even know. Probably, probably second pick. I think second pick's best. Because then you get this last slot where you can determine what they do, and they can't counter it. So Mighty Uko. Mighty Uko makes me want to bring more to, honestly. It makes me really want to bring more to. I very, very rarely bring more to Macabre. But if I was to, this would be the situation. So Duchess and Leo. Sorry if you saw a little cut out there. I had a sneeze, and I don't want to include that in the video, so we'll just cut that out. Um, now we have, okay, so all the support champions are here already. Part of me says, you know what? Leave the Warlord and just go full Mortu. Just, yeah, Mortu's going to absolutely do amazing. That's a possibility. Like, with Warlord, Mortu is actually pretty decent. However, the fact is he could just ban Mortu, right? So that's not good. So you kind of have to go for the Warlord ban no matter what. With that said, let's go Seafy plus Stoutus. Actually, I could go Helicath. If I plan on banning the Uko. Um, let's go uh, CP plus. Let's do Stoutus. I like Stoutus. Stoutus is a really good champion. He hits so incredibly hard. We'll see what they do, though. If they... Nah, I can't, I can't do that. I was going to say if, say if they... Uh, depends on their damage dealers, but I think I really just have to bring... Um, maybe another support. Let's see. So we have some defense-based champion options here. They have the strip champion. If I put Valkyrie in here, they want to ban Seafy, right? They really want to ban Seafy. Like that's a that's a obvious choice, I believe. For me, I think I have to ban Warlord. I don't think I have a choice. I wish I did, but I don't. Leo. Interesting. I would definitely not have expected the Leo ban. If their Duchess is not in Stone Skin, she gets slept. And then we're going to work on some stuns. If she is in Stone Skin, it's going to be a little bit more tricky, but hopefully she's not. I'm probably faster than the Uko, right? Definitely faster than the Uko. So with this, um, we don't have anything to ignore unkillable on the Leo, unfortunately. If I do my increased defense stuff, I guess we just sleep, honestly. It's really my only option, I think. Because we Veil. Hmm. This is going to actually be a very unfortunate match, honestly. Because I don't have the increased defense for the Valkyrie ability here. So that's not great. I should have just done an increased defense in the beginning. There's no reason to even do the counterattack stuff. The Baron, I think, just works through my team, right? Let's see what happens. I think we just do big damage to Leo and get him to do his unkillable. Yep. Yeah, that was maybe not the smartest thing to do there, actually. Especially with all their stone skin nonsense. But that, that Uko took a lot of damage, so maybe he's not super well geared. Okay, yeah, they're 100% killing me. Take I, I take it back. My Duchess actually has some really good... Um, Defiant gear on. Got the sheep, perfect. I love seeing that. We're going to give a turn on the res. No reason to try to go into the res right now. Oh, wow. Okay, so the Baron didn't do very much at all. Obviously. I would really rather save this, but I think we just have to do it right now. Unfortunately, I don't have the luxury of saving that. Um, we can kill the Leo as soon as he comes back, though, I believe. Without too much of an issue. That was really bad plays on my part, though, honestly. I was kind of hoping that he'd break, be broken from that. Sleep the Duchess. Not going to matter, because I'm not going to get a turn anyways. Or she's going to get a turn here. He kills nobody, right? He has an A1. 
Okay. So Duchess takes more damage from that, of course. Um, I think we just we had to A2, right? We have to do this A2. Maybe kill the Duchess. Didn't we stun the Pyth uh, the uh, Uko? Sweet. That's perfect. We definitely kill. We definitely kill Baron, right? Yeah. Okay, we did. Sweet. So here it's just balancing the the sleeps and the stuns, right? So Uko has his res available, which is something I have to be very mindful of. Duchess has several turns until hers is available. Okay, Staltus going for the win. Perfect. I think we're safe now. Staltus is pretty daggone hard. Seafy getting sheeped. Ooh. Okay. I may have spoken too soon. Possibly spoke too soon. The counterattack's not going to do much. We're actually going to save that just in case something happens. And they come back. I want to save that. I don't think she's anywhere close to her res. But there's no reason to waste the counterattack because she's only going to be attacking Duchess, right? So there's zero reason to actually waste the counterattack. I just hope Seafy comes back before the res is ever there. Four minutes. Also, another champion I'm considering trying is actually Tatura. Tatura in place of Seafy. I mean, not going to be a perfect replacement, but he does bring increased defense as well as block debuffs. So a very solid champion. Very solid champion. But mine's not booked. And I would like to book him before building him and showing him. Well, I like to book him before showing him, not before building him, because obviously he'd be booked if I built him. There we go. That was a little bit sketchy. Not going to lie. That was a little bit more sketchy than I would have liked. We're going to continue. The uh, the whole Leoris shenanigans at the beginning there, that was a little bit worrisome. Now, this is going to be a match there. I want to I wanna wish I had my Rotos, to be honest. Rotos is just such an easy pick. But we're not going to do it. As long as there's no Taras and Harima and Warlord really cutting down the options there, then we should be safe. No Taras, no Harima, no Warlord. That nah, should be no problem, right? 1691 to my 1673. So he's a little bit higher ranked than me. So we'll see how this plays out. Maybe. What's going on here? Did he disconnect or... Seafy. We'll go Duchess. Okay, Seafy pick is very... You know, doesn't really give away very much. We're going to go Duchess and Seafy. Matter of fact, we're going to put Seafy first. I'm not for sure how this order works. I think this is how it works. I'm not for sure if he's actually still here. He waited a long time for that pick. So he may not have any plan. It may just be the computer picking for him. And if it is, the team's not going to be... Well, maybe. I don't know. It picks based on your highest power champions, I think. So we're not going to be... Uh, Sleeping the Seafy, that's for sure. She's a four star polymorph, which it seems like it lands 100% of the time. 29. Definitely not a bot, because bots pick, I think, at like the 45 second mark, this first this uh, first tick on the way down. I think is when they pick. Also, bots, I think, pop up after three losses in a row. All right, well, there we go, guys. We're 3-0 so far. That sucks. I guess he got kicked off. I guess he was AFK or something. I have no clue. 1643. Now, I'm 1678, but that's with Rotos. I'm not 1678 without Rotos. So, without Rotos, I'm probably like 1500 flat. You know, I probably... Nah, I'm just kidding. It's not that drastic, but Rotos, he, he does... Okay, we're not talking about him. Forget about, forget about that champion. No more Rotos talk. Okay, he's... Just, the, just that blue champion to me, okay? Irrelevant. So we have an Arbiter and a Seafy. So Georgid, I imagine, might be coming here um, very soon. Georgid is a nasty, nasty champion. Um, we could go go Leo. Can't get slept. We could go... If they have no strip champions, we could go Helicath. Which I'm 100% down to try. But... I also want to try to just go Leo. Who does really, really well against Georgian? I, I want to use my Eric's, kind of. 
We'll do these two. This is going to be an interesting one. I got this bottle that tells you when you should be drinking. I don't know if I showed this already before, but it's like, okay, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., this stuff. And it's actually pretty cool to keep track of like, hey, it's like a, it's like a game you can play. If you're ever having trouble drinking plenty of water, consider getting one. I think it was on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Um, so it was a reasonable price. And I mean, it's pretty cool. Definitely makes me more motivated to like play the game and finish off the couple bottles a day or whatever. Um, but that's not a plug for their bottle. Uh, we're going to continue focusing on the live arena stuff. With that said, Georgia, man, I hate this champion. I do. I really hate him, especially with the Arbiter, Seafy, Warlord, all that kind of nonsense. He's just going to blast me with the a, that um, single target. I have to go UDK, right? I have to go UDK. Honestly, UDK plus Ursuga, I don't think George is getting through, to be 100% fair. We're going to try it. He bans Duchess in that case, though, right? Definitely bans Duchess. I have no clue that this is going to work. Is there going to be a Rotos next to? Oh, my goodness. I hope he bans UDK, but he may not. He may just ban Duchess. And Duchess would make a lot of sense because then he could target, well, still UDK, but Arsuga's a, th a thick, th thick girl. She's a really thick girl. Like, she takes a lot of damage. She's slow and bolster. Gosh, dang it. He's got to use the most annoying champs possible. Now, luckily, I have my Valkyrie to mess with the turn meters when his Sifi does her A3, A2, if she does that. Ursuga can actually soak a lot of damage from Georgia as well, though, for real. Going to be hitting Leo, though, 100% without a doubt. That doesn't really matter. My Duchess is definitely cutting in. Definitely cutting in on you, buddy. Don't use, don't, don't, don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Hey, you did good. Thank you for listening. Interesting choice there. If my Leo ever gets a turn, though, I will 100% just be a warning onto the Georgian. Reaction? On your Georgian? Are you kidding me? That's a, that's an unfortunate turn of events. All right, Duchess, it was nice knowing you. Thank you for all you've done to help. I really appreciate it. But I think this is the time where you uh, actually stay alive because you're a freaking tanky girl. I love it. All right, um, now if we can get Ursuga to actually do her, her uh, alley protection, maybe we're okay if she takes a turn, if she ever gets a turn because being slow is not always good, not always that great. Okay, we got it. We got the alley protection. We got the strength in. All this damage is shared now, baby. He doesn't kill her. He didn't kill her before. He's not killing her now. <sighs> we can A3, maybe kill some champs. I think A2 is just my best bet. We don't even have increased attack, though. It was removed. I think we just A2. Just throw out the YOLO. Didn't get anything, unfortunately. But he's going to get an extra turn, right? No, he doesn't get an extra turn, or does he? He does not. Sweet. So it has to go for the res, right? Duchess. Valk, do something. He got lucky with those strips, for sure. A3? I think A1 she's safe. Oh, man. She is too good. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Rotos, what are you doing, buddy? Getting extra turns? No, I don't think so. All right, there you go. Probably not what I would have done. I probably would have done that on the Leors instead, but... Because, I mean, you could have killed the Duchess with your other ability. Maybe he just wasn't confident. If we can pull off this victory, it'd be crazy. There is a champion who I know I could pull off this victory with. All right, is he A2? I kind of hope he does. Or just hit my Leo, please. Sweet. Ursuga, 
You're doing great. Seafy, don't block debuffs. Don't do it, please. Oh my goodness, she did it. She did it. She blocked debuffs. He's going super slow in his turns, that's for sure. I wonder if I can kill the Rotos. Maybe a decent idea. I can't kill everybody, but I can maybe kill the Rotos. Yeah, we got him! Sweet! So now... It comes to the Rotos getting rezzed, right? He 100% gets rezzed and we just get messed up, right? Maybe. Maybe not. She's going to rez. He's going to get some turn meter redu reduced. Oh, no. Okay. Rez Georgian. Yo, and we killed him. Sweet. Now the Arbiter rezzes everybody, right? That she rezzed everybody. But now we have the A3. But Leo's going to get slept by the C feet. Oh, no, he can't. No, he does, because we A2 is on is on, on cooldown, I think. Right? It's on cooldown. I hope it's not on cooldown. Please don't be on cooldown. But it 100% is, right? Dang, it is. She got me. Unless the Valk has... Oh, no. See if he's going to sleep her, too, isn't she? The Arbiter's thinking, do I buff up or do I let this Valk... What do I do here? Dang, this is bad. Really bad. Wait, no. That was that was not the right play. No, Leo, you're supposed to have the A2 off cooldown, buddy. What are you doing? You're you're kind of fumbling this one there, dude. The Rotos 100% kills Leo, right? No. Extra turn? You got one of those earlier. A3 onto the Leo. He's 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 nervous though. He's like. Do I do it? Ah, oh, he did it. No, and he got me. That was a close match. It was a super close match. That Seafy, man. Leo, you got to really work on that cooldown, buddy. That cooldown, that A2 ability. Because if the A2 is off cooldown, then Leo can't get slept. And then that Seafy match would have been fine. But unfortunately, this champion's immune to stun, sleep, freeze. Honestly, I probably should have saved that. I don't know. It's a three-turn cooldown. I'm surprised it wasn't off. Maybe it was just super close. If it... If we would not have gotten slept, we 100% would have won that. Without a doubt in my mind. That sucks, though. Uh, Ursuga was doing amazing tanking. Super, super helpful. Um, Leo, I like him, but honestly, I think I, I like Kutraxa more. I mean, Leo's great, especially if you go against teams that have good AoE champions that can't ignore unkillable. But once you start having champions like Rodos, champions like Georgia, I feel like Leorus is just devalued significantly. Because he he hits like a truck when he's low HP. But when he's max HP, I mean, he's doing basically 99% damage less than he'd be doing if he was 1% HP. So in my opinion, Leorus, he's a good champion, but I don't use him as a nuker, to be honest. You guys can let me know what you think. He is in the 10x event, so maybe this video gave you some ideas on if you should pull from him or not. He's a great champion. If you don't have if you don't have the other champions, Georgia, Krutraxa even, possibly... Um, Hefrak, if you don't have any other really good damage dealers, Leorus is going to be great. He's really good for farming, picking your matches, but for Live Arena, I, I may be the only one. I know a lot of people use him. He hits hard, but I just feel like he gets outweighed very frequently. So we got one, two, three, and then boom. So the third one didn't really count. 6.3, 12, 16, and then 25. 25 million player power. That was actually a really good match, though. For the champions that he picked versus the champions I picked, I think it was actually a pretty good match. I mean... It was much closer than I was expecting it to be. So I'm going to show you guys my gear real quick. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I had fun. It was it was a lot of fun for me. So skills fully booked, masteries is what we have. As far as Duchess, bolster plus defiant, typical stuff. Uh, we have Valkyrie. She's an instinct gear. Speed, decent accuracy, some okay damage. She doesn't hit super hard, but life harvest is actually pretty good. Life harvest does make it more annoying as they continue to res. Um... Dang, I'm kicking myself that Leorus didn't have his A2 off cooldown. That would have been a complete game changer. So we have Sifi, Stone Skin, pretty fast, 338. So that's why she was outspeeding some teams, but not everything. She's not super fast, just fairly fast. Georgian is actually in Stone Skin. I don't use him, though. I haven't used him today. I need to try him some more. But there we go, guys. UDK, 
Stone Skin with some reaction. I think that's everybody I used. Maybe Candrafon? I, I forget. I don't think I used Candy. I think I was just the main champion. So, guys, thank you all for watching. Nice, short, sweet little uh, live arena session. I'm going to do some more ba battles and see how they go. Thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you all in the next one.